Hello! In this Google Classroom tutorial, what we're going to look at is um, how we respond to student work once they've created it. So very quickly, I'm going to send an assignment out to the students. Um, I'm going to call this details. And and I'm going to take this from my Google Drive and it's my most recent thing I've created called Details so I can click on Recent, click on that, click on Add and it's going to go to All Students and what I want to do here, make sure is that it's not view the file, I want them to actually make a copy for each student and then return it to me and I'm going to assign it. Now you'll see here we've got it's gone to one student and it's not been done by one student. Now obviously if there was more students in my classroom that would be a much higher number um, but I've only added one student to my classroom. So now I need to go and look at what the student side of that will look like. I'm logged in now as a student of room 22 2018 and this is what the view for the classrooms that this student looks uh, belongs to looks like in the Google Classroom dashboard. So to access the classroom I'm going to click on room 22 and here we can see got it. Here we can see um, a task on the stream has been sent to me and I want to open the task. So I'm going to click on open I'm going to open the document. It says, uh, your, uh, click on here. It says, please fill out the details as requested. Click on here. So now I'm getting the copy of that document. So I add my name. Right, I've done my task. So now what I can do here now is I can add some content to support my work and but I've because I've been sent this document straight away I've just written straight into it and now I can click turn it in yep how student details but maybe I should have changed my name here so so the teacher can see who's done that so my instruction should as a teacher should have said um, let's change make sure we change the names on here so here we go, here's the document I filled out called student one, um, how it's student, and I'm gonna put it here. So now the teacher when they go through it can actually see that, what that looks like. Click, um, close that, come back to here. Now I can turn it in. Yep, turn in. And you can see it's changed from student one, how it, it's done. So I've got proof that I've sent it in, okay? And now we're gonna go back and look and see what that looks like from a teacher point of view. So now I'm back in my dashboard as the teacher of the classroom, room 22, 2018. And I want to go and see what uh, has happened to that task. So I'm gonna click on room 22 over here. There, now we can see that the class, the, the ratio we looked at before was one not done and zero done. And now that the one student has um, sent that back, I can click on the done, go into here. And now we can see that Havoc student has done the task for me. Um, and we can sort by uh, first name, last name. We can sort by done. Yep, they're all there, so we can see. So now I can add a grade if I wanted to. Um, make it ungraded, yeah, doesn't have to have a grade, but you can grade them if you wanted to, give them a grade out in here, but what I like to do is actually go and look at the work, so here's student one's content, there it is there, and now of course what I can do is that I can add my own comment, so I can highlight the work that I want to highlight, add a comment, comment obviously that's not a very meaty comment but you can actually go into the documents themselves and provide some feedback to the students um, relevant to the pieces of work that you're talking about and so close this 
we can now we now know that we've given these students some feedback what I want to be able to do now is I actually want to be able to for example the student might have done the work and sanded it in but it's incomplete so what I can do now is I can click on how student and I can return it to the student um, and I can add a comment in here so so I've given a comment in here so the student knows exactly what they need to do and then I can return it to them and so what will happen here now as you can see is it's been marked but it's now it's not complete but it's been returned so the student has done the task but the update and the details here has changed so from done not done to one return because we need some more information and we're giving them another opportunity to complete the work and that in a nutshell is how Google Classroom works for you as a teacher and for your students.